to compare original products to the knockoff versions. So I went ahead and I purchased one of the very gorgeous bow and tee wow. workout sets for like $150 around there. I don't know, I'll put the link and price somewhere around. <laughs> But I purchased it and then I saw on AliExpress that people were claiming to have dupes and you could get the dupe for $23 versus $150 so I had to and I want to see is there going to be a significant quality difference or are these both just cheap elastic and fabric but one has name brand and the other doesn't. I don't know. But before we go ahead and crack into the products, can we just take a moment for my fit today? Because I literally feel like Genie from I Dream a Genie with the hairdo and the purple shirt. Baby, I'm grabbing wishes today. Oh, got too much hair in my mouth. But baby, I'm grabbing wishes today. <laughs> Seriously, so I know I can't play the music, It'll get copyrighted, but I'll just hum for a minute. There. I got you the martini. <laughs> Could you just imagine coming into existence and being like, Hello, master. You need the kitchen cleaned? <laughs> if that's not a perfect example for what men thought women were for in the 60s and 70s well i don't know what is <clears throat> nah baby this genie's using her magic for herself <laughs> so first things first <laughs> obviously the actual bow and tee product looks a lot better when it comes to you in the mail uh there's this nice little handle the bag is really cute and you can also tell that it's in like one of those clothing boxes. They have like their logo and everything and it says follow us on Instagram, you know, all that good jazz. So we definitely get a little bit extra there. I see the money difference there, but does it really matter? Is it only in packaging? We'll see. About to crack open. Ooh. It's so exciting. Okay, and see, we just, we have a lot of, I feel like, flashy show here with this. Because look at this box. Right when I open it, it is like, hello, I am the magic box from the magic realm. <laughs> see, how gorgeous is this box? Totally, or fully, it's very nice. <laughs> it's a nice box. It's like a shoe box. Actually, when it first got here, my sister was like, did you get shoes? No, there's no shoes. We couldn't. Here we are, <laughs> up close and personal with the box. It kind of looks like a little bit beat to hell, but that is okay. Look at that holograph, holography of holographness. And you guys know I love my holograph nails and everything else holograph. So, good choice on the box. <laughs> Bow Auntie. But what about what's in the box? Mm -hmm. ah. New fits, new goals, new mindset. Welcome to hashtag Bow Auntie. Well, thank you. I'm happy to be included. So then we have Bow Auntie form and function. Take your workout up a notch with our new essential performance wear. So let's see performance and quality. Is it there? I got the navy green set. It did take a little bit longer than I was expecting and hoping to get here, but I am just happy that it got here. I don't think these bags are recycled because otherwise wouldn't they be telling me this bag is fully recycled. Give us recyclable cookies. No, but it does tell me to keep it away from babies because of suffocation. <laughs> so.
So there's this. I guess Boan Tea's not very green, but they are shiny. The first thing that we have here is the Boan Tea top, which this bag did not open. It just ripped right where the clue was, but that's okay. And wow, okay. So this is quite thick material, but I have to say the other one did also feel pretty thick. We'll have to see. We'll compare side by side in a minute. But here is the bow anti sports bra. It's really thick. Like, look how thick this boy is. Is a big boy. I've had some other ones before that are quite a lot smaller and not. Wow, this is like some thick cardboard too. I see what I'm paying for now. I'm paying for all these extras. <laughs> Cause do we need two of these? No, but this is fancy and nonsensical. Although not really helping with, you know, the state of the planet. Ugh. Please note, we do not accept returns if this tag is removed. Okay, sure thing. <laughs> I got sizes small because I am small. Checking your boobs could save your life. Well, that's interesting. So there is actually a little warning on here about checking your boobs if you have breast cancer. So at least they care about women and their boobies. This is a very nice logo too that we have attached here to the front. They wanna make sure if you're wearing them, everybody else knows you're wearing them too. <laughs> and then I did get the matching over top from Boan Tea. Again, we've got another one of these kind of excessive, very thick planet ruining tags, but you know, the bouge. We have another, please make sure to check your boobies. Size small. Oh. And this is what it looks like. This is peculiar, there we go. I was like, that doesn't seem like that's right, but no, that was just some extra nonsense. I was like, is that sewn in there? No. <laughs> this is what the front looks like, again, with the very nice Boanty logo. It is, again, a very thick workout shirt. Very thick. We'll see how it fits and how it compares, though, to the other one, because like I said, the other one also feels a pretty thick. And last, we have the pants that go with it. Again, another one of these just cardboard stock tags, not just one, but two again. And I do, you know, some more wrapping. I don't know if I showed you, but they do have it with a nice bow anti wrapping. And this one has the puckered buns and supposed to have the butt lift. And we have those calf differences. So we'll see just how this fabric actually compares to the other one. Da, da, da. Three lines, I'm not really sure what that means, but okay. And again, here we have this very thick, very nice looking Bow Antee logo. They want you to know, you know, what brand it is, who's wearing it. Very interesting. So when you hear anything, it's because this tag is literally stuck to my angle. So, <laughs> but this is the fit. This is the bow and tee set. What do we think? I like it. I think it fits really nice. Does it make my butt look bigger? It better for how much I paid. <laughs> so cute. One thing I do have to say about these ridiculously thick tags <laughs> is when I was putting on the sports bra, it actually whacked me in the boob and it hurt. Nobody needs that thick of tags. Ouchies. <laughs> Like, ooh. Ah. That's it. 
Anna Coin. That's it, I'm not going. Just so you know, when I look in the mirror, that's what I see. <laughs> Almost forgot. Here is up close where it says Boan T. We get to see. I like the fabric. I like the fit. It fits very nicely. Ooh, my proportions or like measurements, however you want to say that. I also like where the set sits on my body. I think, you know, obviously we've had the discussion, correctly measured clothes just feel better on. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the top part of the Boan T pieces. I leave the sports bra underneath. Uh, I feel like these are actually supposed to be worn separately, specifically because of the extra cup in the top here. I feel like having both would be just like a lot and really uncomfortable. But also, if you're one of those girls that really cares, you know, about looking bigger on top, which, no judgment, I used to be. You know, I used to have the cutlets and the padded bra and the maxi padded bra. That's not what that's called, but it might as well be. And then eventually I was just like, ugh, my teas and my titties, they look like what they look like. <laughs> oh well, no matter padding or anything. But anyway, that's a whole other story. That's a whole other thing. I don't need that, but I can see how that would be an appeal for women, extra padding. Not for me though. Anyway. <laughs> I also can't believe how short these sleeves are. What? What? I paid like between 20 and 50, because I don't remember exactly, for this top. What is this? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Not building clothes for six foot tall beauties, that's for sure. this. Besides that, <laughs> I think that it's actually a nice top, worthy inclusion. This is definitely, definitely going straight back though. I don't keep things that don't fit me. <laughs> I don't, I would never wear this because of this. So it makes me feel like, like your girl don't know how to dress herself. She doesn't know what fits her and what doesn't. No. We don't wear ill-fitting clothes around here. <clears throat> Next, I have the knockoffs from AliExpress, which, like I said, are in a bag that are definitely not as nice, but is it really all about packaging or is it about product? This girl's about product. <laughs> we get one bag, and this one is actually supposedly a large versus the small. And we just have one bag and it's all in there so let's take a closer look this is the bag that the knockoff comes in obviously not as flashy and these are a size large instead of a size small although they are supposed to be the same measurements inch centimeter you know all that wise so let's do the first top here which is the bra and guys, it's actually still pretty thick. Like, this is actually pretty freaking comparable. Like, I'm not even kidding. The elastic, this seems like it's not really like elastic, if that makes sense. Like this is some fabric that doesn't really have a lot of a stretch. Fabric must not be the same. Although this one has no tags at all. So I have no idea what it's made out of. It could be made out of human skin. We don't, we don't know what it is. It could be, it could be made of, I don't know. <laughs> what is something funny? There's no logo on front and we still have this pucker, which is nice to actually compare it to the Boan one. We have like a slight 
color difference. These are supposed to be the same colors, but this also happens just in production because different dyes, but here we have the darker green, which is the Boan tea and the more like brownie green, which is not. They look so similar, guys. It's kind of insane. It makes a girl wonder. It really does. It makes a girl wonder what is going on in the world. <laughs> Size wise, like I said, they are supposed to be the same size. The Boan tea does seem like maybe it's just, just a little bit smaller. I don't know if I'm just not lining it up. Maybe it's actually lined up pretty equally. Guys, I'm kind of getting sh like, <laughs> I'm kind of a little bit shook because they're literally like the same thing but one was so much more expensive. This is insane, guys. They're like literally almost identical. Like I said, this is more of like an elastic elastic though. You can see how well that stretches and this is the Boan T one. And then this one, you can see it doesn't actually stretch. There's no give and it's this one, but they're so far pretty comparable. It's insane. Here we have the top shaw part from the knockoff company. The sleeves seem like they might be a bit shorter, but I don't know if that's just in my brain. Again, we do not have the nice thick logo, but this still is pretty thick and feels pretty all right. I don't know how well this is gonna hold up in comparison, cause like I said, we can see there's a difference in the elastic, but I think if you were to get this and no one told me and there wasn't like the missing giant Boansy on the front, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. So here we have the comparison of just the side by side, the side by side colors. I want to see if the sleeves are the same length or not. So matching up the sleeves. And almost, there's like a little bit of a difference, but they're the same length pretty much. So this one, the knockoff version, there is no padding in the front of the top bra cover up of the knockoff from AliExpress, whereas the Boan tee has bra padding in both the bra and the top cover up. So this, I, I mean, obviously, is going to exponentially help making your boobies look bigger because there is literally inside here an extra cup. Whereas the knockoff, there is no extra cup. No extra cup in there. Finally, we have the bottoms from AliExpress from the knockoff. And here we already see that there is this big patterning difference from where this is on the calf of the other one and it's kind of down at the lower accent mark here. We do have the same puckery butt thing that's supposed to make your buns look bigger, but we just don't have the same patterning all the way down them. Again, there's no bow and tee thing lining them up. Well, first of all, the Boan tee being a small is actually like two inches smaller than the large, but they were supposed to be the same. And lengthwise, the knockoffs are about two inches shorter, I would say. And see this design here we have on the calf, versus the design here. We have more so on the ankle. And again, you just kind of get to see that color difference, but they're pretty similar in thickness, which is interesting to me. Here are the dupes. So first thing I have to say about these is, oh my God, do they smell freaking weird. Not only that, but there's also like, I'm assuming this is also like why they smell weird. 
they're probably in a warehouse they probably like sprayed them with chemicals because when i touch them i get this weird film on my fingers it's weird <laughs> um like i can i feel it after touching it on my fingers right now no i don't see anything pow or like powder what is that stuff powder dry shampoo that's kind of what it feels like like that weird sticky texture very strange very very strange <laughs> so this is the first set this one is a little bit more brown than green but comparably i think they're about the same they do sit a little bit differently and i can already tell these are bigger we saw they're like an inch bigger so i do kind of feel that but it doesn't really bother me <laughs> and yeah how does my butt look <laughs> another thing i realized about the bralette is this one has the cups included whereas we talked about the cover-up doesn't but the knockoff version you cannot take the cups out the cups are sewn in so you're stuck with them <laughs> And again, we just have a little bit like elastic difference. It doesn't feel like this is really even elastic. It feels like it's just kind of stitched fabric. So that also contributes to the bounce that we do or don't get, we don't get a bounce with this because there's no elastic pulling them back up, which again, if you're a lady and you're like, boobs, I like my boobs, look at my boobs. That might be a deal breaker. Not for this girl, but. <laughs> the leggings are a bit shorter and they do have a different pattern. I don't know. What do I think? I'm just enjoying <laughs> that there's no tag on my foot. So I can do the jig. <laughs> Honestly, the cut on the bra, I think is like the exact same. But then again, can you really mess up? A basic bra. I don't know. I've seen it done, but it is hard. <laughs> I am gonna put the top part on over this just to see what it looks like. Okay, so wearing this, I'm actually literally not even kidding you, I'm getting nauseated right now. This smells so bad, and the sleeves are. <laughs> just as problematic. I actually feel like these sleeves are more problematic because at least the other ones sit flush. These have just all of this extra material for girth, which I do not have and nothing for length. So it looks so much worse in my opinion than even the other one. I would like less, 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 less be wearing this anywhere. I don't like looking trashy. I don't like looking not put together. And this makes me feel, it makes me feel a little bit cheap. <laughs> I just don't like, I don't, there's no need for this extra material. I don't get why it's there, but it's there to haunt me in my dreams. And when I turn around, I did notice that this pucker is not even like an actual pucker. It's like a dyed pucker, so it's definitely not giving us the same kind of effect as the other one. Or maybe it's just that issue where the elastic on the set is not good. So it's like not a good enough elastic to give it that puckered look. I don't know, but it doesn't look good. And I'm really getting a headache, so I'm gonna be taking this off and putting it in the bag and not smelling it ever again, because she whiz. <laughs> I like how this sits on top. The Boan tee is actually kind of advertised with having it on top. So that's cool. I just wanted to kind of see what that would look like. Again, in the Boan tee one, you get a little bit more because you have both the paddings, but this is how we look. And I'm literally getting a headache. You guys let me know is the price difference worth it? I think that <laughs> clearly there is a difference in quality and there is a difference in price, but I don't really feel like they should be 
that drastically different. So yeah, this is like a $23 workout set. It doesn't fit the greatest. I wasn't expecting it to be absolutely amazing. But then the Bowen tee, it's not like it's really giving anything more. I mean, a little bit. So they use a little bit better elastic. They probably use a better dye, which is why it doesn't smell. I'm not sure. I don't know where the smell is coming from, but it's nauseating me. But I don't think that equates to like even more than a hundred dollar difference. I can't imagine that more than a hundred dollar difference went into the production differences between these two, but maybe they did. Like I said, we do get, we do get a nice box and nice tags with the other set, but then again, that's kind of an extra that I don't care about and I'm not really paying for because that extra stuff goes in the garbage anyway. So why am I paying for extra garbage? I'm giving you more money so you give me more garbage. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird to me. Am I the only one that's seeing it that way? I give you more money, you give me more garbage that I have to then throw out? I don't know. Like I said, clearly there's a dye and elastic difference and a slight measurement difference. But also, Bowie and T actually use less fabric than the more expensive. So that's what I'm saying. It's just really not adding up. I don't know. <laughs> but a lot of things in the world just aren't adding up lately. I think we should work together to make this math make sense. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I will put the links to both of the sets in the description if you want to get the AliExpress version or if you want to get the real version. The only thing wrong with the AliExpress, I think, is it smells weird and just a little bit different. I don't know. It's just preference, maybe. If you want either of these sets, they're down below. Also, my measurements are down below. <laughs> oh. And just one last thing before I say goodbye, I want to ask you yet again to please spread the love this Valentine's Day by helping to donate to survivors of domestic violence. Oh yes, so the link to donate is also below. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. You donate $10, I put a heart somewhere on my body, and we do a laundry shoot. It's a lot of fun. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out what Spread the Love is, and go check out my latest loungewear video, baby. We try out lounge, lounge lingerie, and they're good. Oh yeah, they're good. And I also ask you guys to pick between sets one, two, or three. Yes, I got three different sets from loungewear. Which ones you guys wanna use? Or spread the love. I let you guys pick because it is for you guys and yeah I know I, I just I want to raise awareness I want to raise money and I want to raise a community that's what we're doing baby that's what we do all right <laughs> I love you guys so so much thank you so much for coming and please remember to spread the love links down below Mwah. bye bye baby I take you to the candy shop I let you lick the lollipop Go ahead girl, don't you stop Keep going till you hit the spot Whoa. I'll take you to the candy shop yeah. One more taste of what I got uh -huh. I'll have you spending all you got Come on. Keep going till you hit the spot Whoa. I'll take you to the candy shop I let you lick the lollipop